you might have encountered a situation like this before. In your purchased model or project, there are multiple UV maps in one 3D model, and a certain requirement needs you to merge all these UV maps into a single. At such times, you might consider merging the UVs first, and then using Photoshop to adjust the texture positions to match the UVs. However, this could be a daunting task. Now I will show you a method that will allow you to quickly merge several UV maps into one within a few minutes. Let's get started. Here's a car model consisting of six parts, each corresponding to a material and a UV map. First, we'll use a single material to display all six UV maps using the UDM feature. Arrange the UVs of each part in order. Just like this. Let's do it. Combine the model. Delete all materials. Then configure it with UDIM texture sequence settings. Create a new texture with any name you prefer. Set the texture size according to the original texture size. Enable the tiled option. Click OK. This way, we've created a UDM texture, with the default starting at 1001. Add more texture sequences, adding 5 more since the first one is already set. Open UDM textures. I have copied and renamed them. Please follow this naming convention like this, otherwise, Blender might not recognize these texture sequences. At this point, the textures are arranged as we intended. Select the model and add a material. Attach the just renamed UDIM texture sequence. Now the model and the scene displays correctly. Go to the UV Maps tab. In order to distinguish, I renamed the previous UV. Create a new UV. This UV will be used for baking purposes later on. Select and display this new UV. Redistribute the new UV within a single texture tile. Select the newly created UV map and display the UDIM UV layout to ensure the scene displays correctly. Now, create a new texture for baking the UDM display result onto a single UV texture. Set the size as desired. Do not enable tile this time. Create the texture. Select the cycles renderer as only cycles can perform texture baking. Let's take a look at the cycles display result. It might appear dark, so we need to ensure cycles displays the texture colors correctly. First link the texture to the emission. Then render only the emission. Select the model and the texture you just created. Go to the Bake tab and select the render type as emit. Click Bake. After about a dozen seconds, the texture baking is done. Link the bake texture to the material. Alright, it's done! 
Thanks for watching.